Hi there everybody, this is Sam Kola and today I am going to show you all how to record one track with the Behringer QX1832 to Logic and GarageBand and today I am going to show you all how to record it using the keyboard or the mic or your guitar but remember you can you can only record with one track first thing we are going to do is go to behringer.com here as you can see it's on the top corner here and we are going to go down and as you can see you have the all software for Mac this is only for the MacBook and all software for Windows is only for Windows and also make sure you choose the right modeled software just in case and today I am going to show you all how to use your Mac or your window and how to connect in this bad boy here to anything you want the guitar, the keyboard or even the mic so right now I have downloaded the software for the Mac and now I'm just going to shut it down. Now I am going to show you how to connect the USB cable to the mixer. So you put this inside the uh, USB where it says it here. And now we are going to connect the cable for the keyboard into the mixer, which goes here. And now I'm going to show you where you connect. So, this cable needs to go here in the line out so it can record. As we can see here, there are two USB source buttons. It says USB to TR and USB to TR to main. And as we press one and then we press this one, the channel will go through. If one of them is down, the the uh, signal will not go through. And just to be sh sure to show you, they're both red buttons. Now, once we have connected all the cables, firstly, we are going to safely turn on the Behringer. And then, we are going to go and turn on the keyboard. So now I'm going to show you how to connect to Logic Pro. So we press the empty project and then we press choose. And now if you have a look, it should say audio, input 1 and the output should be output 1 and 2. So now we are going to go into the input device, which here, yeah, output device is MacBook Pro speakers and the input device, make sure it is the USB audio codec and then we go down here oh and by the way if you want you can change whatever you want over here it's completely your choice now we are going to apply the changes now we are going to shut this window down and now we are going to press create Make sure it's on stereo balance here. Yeah. So now I am going to show you how to record using your keyboard and your MacBook to the mixer. Alright, so now I have done a bit of a recording for you, just to see what you think of it. And now we are going to scroll back. As you can see, scrolling back, 
you hold the top bit here just to scroll so now here is the play button we are now going to press play if you want to put the volume up you can do it from here and you can adjust the voice or settings from here just do what you want from this so as you could see I just recorded the piano sound to the mixer to the laptop now I'm going to turn everything off starting from the keyboard and then I'm going to make my way connecting the guitar to this so first I am going to turn off my keyboard from the main here which is going to be turning off now and now I am going to turn off the mixer as you can see here is the off switch as soon as we've turned everything off we are going to take the cable out from the keyboard and plug it into the guitar and then here we don't need to take this cable out at all, it's fine where it is. And now we are going to turn the mixer on. As soon as I turned on my mixer, I am going to show you how to record the guitar. So, so far it's working, as you can see there's a green light coming up. And now I am going to show you how to record it. So, if you want a new track, we are now going to press this now to record it if it's on this one it won't record this track you have to click this in order for it to record now right now I'm going to press the record button ready go Now I have just recorded both my tracks and now I'm going to play it for you. So as I taught you earlier, we drag it back and now we press play. Now we turn the volume up. First thing I'm going to do is turn off my mixer and then I'm going to take out my guitar cable here and now I'm going to insert my microphone cable into this channel here and now I'm going to turn it on so as soon as I turned it on I can see right here that my microphone is working as the signal is going through and now um, I have just added a new channel right here so and I, I am currently using the Sennheiser E945 if you can see that and now I'm going to record using the mic you know what let's just pull that back and now we are going to record oh, oh, oh. So right now we are
are going to listen to all three tra tracks that I've made and now I'm going to pull it back and we're going to go through it. So we're going to drag this back and now we're going to press play. Oh, oh. Now I'm going to connect my guitar to the GT and I'm going to connect the GT to the Behringer. I am now going to show you how to connect the GT1. So firstly we connect the, G, uh, the input cable that's on the input to the guitar. And now we connect, the, this one goes to the guitar so we've connected that. And then this one connects to the mixer. So this is the cable here. Now we'll connect this here. And then next thing we are going to do is turn the mixer on. And now we have the adapter for the GT. So we are going to plug it in. And then we are going to put it where the power goes here yeah. so that is coming on now I have connected my GT to the mixer and now there is signal coming through as you can see now I'm going to record and track let's go So right now I've just recorded four tracks with my Behringer, my GT1, my Gibson Les Paul and my Genos and obviously the microphone um, E945 Sennheiser and now I'm going to play the track for you. So right now I've recorded my four tracks and I have so far used my um, Behring Jag QX 1832 USB mixer and I've used my Boss GT1 guitar effects processor and my beautiful Gibson Les Paul guitar and the monster Genos. It's the best keyboard I've used so far and yeah, Charlie's my number one viewer. He's been watching me all the way through this program. Here you go, boy, that's a treat for you. <laughs> and I've also used my E945 microphone Sennheiser. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And make sure to like it. Press that like button. And in the future, You'll all be there to watch my new videos of making more videos of this, doing stuff with Logic and using my beautiful keyboard, the Genos. It's a world of wonder and Charlie's enjoyed it as well. 
Love you, everyone. Bye.